as the years go on, fewer and fewer of you will have, have the opportunity to know what's happening. So what I'll do is I'll read a couple paragraphs here and then we'll uh, turn back to uh, the WS. Captain uh, Nathan J. Nylander was born in Fairbury, Illinois, and I took it on uh, January 23rd, 1976. And I uh, took a quick look at that last night. And in 1980, the uh, number of people, the census of uh, Fairbury was 3,544. So a really small town. About 100 miles uh, south southwest of Chicago, about 100 miles north northeast of Springfield, Illinois, just out in the middle of the farm country. Graduated high school at Waller High School in Texas, about 50 miles north, uh, northwest of Houston, where he was a trumpet player in the band. He left in July of 1994 for basic training and began his career in the United States Air Force. Upon completion of his training, he went to tech school at Goodfellow, where he became a radio and satellite data analyst. Not a weatherman, of course. During his tech school, he was a red rope and he also saved an airman's life who was choking. After Texas school, he uh, arrived at Patrick Air Force Base, Florida, where he met his wife, Miriam, a security forces airman, and airman first class. They were married at the Enlisted Club at Patrick Air Force Base later that year. In January of 98, senior airman Nylander cross-trained into the weather career field. He was a DG of the weather observing and weather forecaster courses. Oh. In addition, he was the only, only the second person in the history of the course to score an overall 100%. During his time at Keesler, Nathan and Miriam welcomed their first son, Tyler. Senior Airman Nylander transferred out to Luke Air Force Base, where he became the NCO, or where he became an, an NCO. He was an outstanding airman and technician for the 56th Operational Support Squadron, where he earned the Forecast of the Year honors in 1999 and in 2000. While at Airman Leadership School, he was selected as the DG and to receive the award for academic excellence. Sergeant Nylander continued his outstanding performance in all his weather assignments that followed, winning his squadron, squadron's Pierce's, Pierce Award for the best NCO weather forecaster at both the 607th Weather Squadron and Site R in Korea, where he, where he led weather operations for presidential weather support. Nathan and Miriam were blessed with two more children. Elizabeth was born in Yongsong, South Korea, and Andrew was born in Tampersburg, Pennsylvania. In February 2006, Sergeant Highlander arrived at O Officer Training School where he was recognized as the number one graduate of his class, as well as winning, winning the academic award for his squadron. From 2006 to 2009, Lieutenant Nylander was stationed at Hickam Air Force Base, Hawaii. During his tenure at the Operational Support Squadron, as a weather flight commander, he earned a 99% on an Air Force standardization and evaluation inspection, i.e. an IG inspection. In May of 2009, Lieutenant Islander became the flight commander for Central Flight at the 25th OWS. After only three months of the job, he was lauded as an exceptional performer by the standardization and evaluation team inspectors and pivotal in the squadron's excellent rating. In his critical leadership role, Captain Islander was extremely innovative. His ideas laid the foundation of a squadron reorganization that propelled weather warning performance to its highest levels in over a decade. His career, he, he cared deeply for his airmen, mentored many individuals, and was a joy to work with and be with. The 25th OWS is a better place. Many airmen's lives are better due to his leadership and dedication. The men and women of the Air Force weather community are honored to have worked alongside such an amazing airman. Captain Nylander is survived by his widow, Miriam, his children, Tyler, Elizabeth, and Andrew. That's pretty much everything up to when he deployed.